Hey guys, Clint here of Horn and Fiber. I'm in the shop this morning working on another little southern banded horn. I need to turn a tip. Let's get started. Hey guys, I know not everybody has access to really large solid pieces of horn tip that you can turn. Uh, so I'm going to go with some commercially available material just to make uh, my starting material the same that could be your starting material. Um, I get these horn rolls from Crazy Crow Trading Post. I'll um, leave a, an at link to them kind of in the description. Uh, what I'm starting with today is a 7 8 by 4 inch roll. Um, I am then going to cut that in half just to kind of maximize my material and get um, two two inch tips out of that. All right, I've got our horn roll chucked up and we're gonna be using a quarter inch drill bit to drill a hole all the way through the center of this. Go in and out, drill a little bit, back out, add some oil. All right, we're all the way through. All right, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and square off the back of the tip and go ahead and increase the size of the opening so that the tip can fit on the horn. Uh, to start this opening, I just go with a half inch drill bit. I usually have to come back in with a lathe tool and open it up just a little bit more and actually put a little bit of taper onto it. But this is, this gets me started. And anytime you're drilling or cutting horn, a little bit of oil is never a bad thing. All right, there we can see our spout hole and our opening for our horn. As you can see, we only go on the horn about a quarter inch or so right now. Uh, so we're gonna put it back on the lathe and open that hole up in the back a little bit more. That's better. Good with that. All right, there's our horn tip with our spout hole drilled and our end opened up to fit on the horn. Uh, I think we're ready to put it back on the lathe and actually start turning our profile now. Yeah, so the horn that we're working on today is a North Carolina, Virginia border horn. This is kind of a generic style of horn that I've developed over the last few years that has both North Carolina and Virginia characteristics. Of course, the tip is one of those Virginia characteristics. So based on several horns from Dr. Hopkins' book that have Virginia histories, I've kind of drawing up a profile of the tip that I want to turn. Uh, All right, for turning the tip, I'm using a mandrel saver combo packet. This is from Penn State Industry, but I think there's several versions of this on the market by different manufacturers. Uh, we just got a piece that goes into the chuck, or not the chuck, but the, the headstock. Um, horn roll slides on, I've got a spacer in there. Then this piece will come on from the tailstock and it'll be locked between centers. Uh, and turning. Hey guys, so yeah. I've got the tip all chucked up here, ready to start turning. Um, when I do though, I'm gonna have my respirator on and I'm between the lathe running and the respirator, it, it, it's gonna be impossible to hear me talk. So I'm just gonna turn um, and, and hopefully you can, can tell what's happening. Um, all right, let's get started.
Hey guys, I wanted to stop for just a second because I wasn't sure how well you could see what I was doing, but I wanted to talk about my approach and, and, and what I'm, uh, I've am i done so I far. I started roughing in the collar region back here. It still has a ways to go, but I wanted to go ahead and kind of get it roughed in and established of where it's going to be at and start this taper toward the tip. I, I like to go ahead and get the, the full length of the taper kind of established um, so that I can actually see the tip from front to back and kind of see how everything flows together. stop again and just take a look at where we're at um, and see we're starting to get a lot closer. Uh, before I get down to my final shape and putting on my incise lines and stuff like that, um, I always like to take and just pull the tip off and put it on the horn and see, see how it's looking. Yeah, so at this point in the tip making process, I'm just, you know, rough fitting it onto the horn there just to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like on the horn um, and how well the tip flows with the rest of the horn. Is it too big and bulky? Is it too tiny? Um, does it flow with the line of the horn as my eye goes from one end to the other? Um, you know, looking at this right now, I'm really close to what I originally had drawn. A lot of these original Virginia tips are are, are very conical, uh, kind of in shape, um, and you know, this one is in keeping with that. Um, I, I might take this collar down, this the front of this collar, this ring down just a hair more, just so I can thin it out here. Um, it's, it's a little thick looking to me at this point. Um, I think that might let my eye flow a little bit better. All right, here we are again, uh, kind of, see, I did go back and thin this out a little bit right around here, just kind of take the fatness out of it, make this line a little straighter, um, brought this ring down just a little bit. To me, it just um, helped the, the tip flow better with the rest of the horn. Um, I think we're ready to, to just clean it up. Uh, it's gonna be minimal. Hey guys, well there we have it. That's our finished tip. Leave the camera, we'll focus on that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something in it useful that you can take back to your shop and apply. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, uh, what you liked, what you did. We'll talk soon. Keep the fire burning.